Welcome to RTL Design Labs. This is Isaac, and in this video we will see how we can use implementation strategies in Vivado to meet different design and development goals. This is a video version of Lab 1 of User Guide 986. We will go through four steps in this lab and provide a summary of what we have achieved at the end. We will use the included CPU netlist design example. After launching Vivado, we select Open Example Project from the Getting Started window. In the Create an Example Project window, we click Next, which takes us to the Select Project Template window. Here we select the CPU Synthesize Project. In the Project Name window, we enter Project CPU Netlist and a location of our choice. There is nothing to do in the Default Part window, so we can move on to the New Project Summary window, where we can review the details of our design and complete the project creation process. Vivado then opens with the default view of our new project. In the Design Runs panel, we can see that the project already contains a default implementation run. We will create three additional ones and change the implementation strategies used by them. From the main menu, we select Flow and then Create Runs. The Create New Run Wizard opens and we click Next to bring up the Configure Implementation Runs window. Here we can see that a new implementation run, implementation 2, has already been defined. We will change the strategy for this run to Performance Explorer. We then click the Add button twice to create two additional runs. For the implementation 3 run, we select the Flow Run First Opt strategy. And for the implementation 4 run, we select the Flow Run Optimized strategy. The Configure Implementation Runs window now shows the three new implementations with the strategies that we selected for each one. We can now click Next to open the Launch Options window and here we select the Do Not Launch Now option. After clicking Next, we can see the Create New Run Summary window. Now that we have created our implementation runs and assigned different strategies to each of them, we can actually launch them. To do this, we select all the implementation runs in the Design Runs panel and click the Launch Runs button on the toolbar. This opens the Launch Runs window where we can select the number of jobs that will be executed in parallel depending on the number of processor threads that we have in our system. In this case, up to 12 jobs can be run at the same time, which means that all implementation runs can be started at once. After the implementation runs are finished, the Implementation Completed window opens. We click Cancel to close it and take a look at the resource utilization for the active implementation in the project summary. We can right-click on a different implementation run to make it active and see how the project summary now displays the status and results for the new active run. In the Design Runs panel, we can compare some of the results of our different implementation runs. For example, we can see that the Flow Runtime Optimized strategy in implementation 4 was completed in the least amount of time, as shown in the elapsed time column. The worst negative slack column shows that all runs meet our timing requirements. In the final step we will change the timing constraints to make timing closure more difficult and see how our different strategies behave. To do this, we double click the top full XDC file in the constraints to constraint set in the sources panel. This opens the constraints file in the text editor in Vivado. On line 2, we change the period of the create clock constraint from 10 nanoseconds to 7.35 nanoseconds. We then save the changes and note that after saving, the status of all runs using that constraints file is changed from complete to out of date in the designed runs window. Here we select all runs once again and click the reset runs button on the toolbar. In the Reset Runs window, we click Reset, which causes Vivado to remove all the files associated with the selected runs from the project directory. Now we can see that the status of all runs is changed from Out of Date to Not Started. While keeping all runs selected in the Design Runs window, we click the Launch Runs button on the toolbar, set the number of jobs to launch on the local host, and click OK. When the active run completes, the Implementation Completed window opens. We click Cancel to close it and compare the elapsed time for each run in the Design Runs window. Here we can see that the Implementation 2 run 
using the Performance Explorer strategy achieves the best timing results, but it also takes the longest time to complete. Also, Implementation 4 is the quickest to finish, but it fails to achieve timing closure. In this video, we showed how we can use implementation strategies in Vivado to meet different design and development goals. We first open an example project with a synthesized netlist and a default implementation running strategy. We then added three additional implementation runs and assigned different strategies to each of them. After launching the implementation runs, we analyzed the results and saw how different strategies can produce different results, especially when trying to meet demanding timing constraints while minimizing implementation runtime. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.